Wait! It's too dangerous! You should go back. I must be on my way. I should not have told you about the cauldron. It creates pure magic. And the Veneer and the Aesir are fighting a war over it. The princess snuck out onto the battlefield alone in order to stop it. I'm so nervous, Princess Velvet. Why are you so concerned about Princess Velvet? I can't tell you now. In any case, the Aesir and the Veneer are nearby, fighting over the Crystallization Cauldron. Why has the princess gone out at a time like this? It is because the late King Valentine has returned to this world. The cauldron is still active, but it is like being asleep. But that man can manipulate the cauldron like he did during the disaster. This disaster? When this land was destroyed and its people turned into pukas? What kind of king wishes for the destruction of his own country? The cauldron ruined Valentine. That nightmare may become reality once again. The only one able to stop King Valentine will be the princess. She knew him. I have a magic sword. Don't worry about me. I'll help save the princess. Oh, Velvet. Even if we meet, you won't be able to recognize me. But I shall protect you, even if you don't know me. Ah! <laughs> 
I'm sure you've realized by now that escape is impossible. Now give me back that ring. I promised to protect it. I cannot let anyone have it. This ring... It controls the cauldron. I must stop the cauldron. He is nearby right now. Who are you talking about? The cauldron's controller. The ring's owner. Valentine. He cannot control it again. It will repeat a tragedy. You are making excuses in order to keep the ring to yourself. This is what you get. Princess Velvet! Puka, I beg of you. Please, get the ring. The ring? Protect it. Give it to no one. Listen, give me my ring. This weapon is a magic bow. It only takes one shot. You hurt the princess. You're acting like a child. I'll let it slide. Go away. Don't take me for a fool. I don't fear you, Puka. I won't forgive you. Oh! <laughs> 
Princess Velvet, are you all right? I see. My granddaughter yet lives. Puka, do not come this way. Take the ring and escape. You're that spirit I helped. I must thank you. I managed to escape back to this world without being caught by that pale woman. That crown? So you must be... I am the King of Valentine! The Cauldron is my heart. And the Titril, my throne. The Ring has been returned to its rightful owner. Grandfather, please think about this. You and your brother escaped the curse. You can't comprehend what it's like. This pain and suffering. Neither can Odin, nor the fairies, nor all of Titania. They must see hell firsthand. You want the world to end? Take a good look at me. All I want is oblivion. Yes. The world's demise, just like the prophecies, the lid to hell opens. The time has now come. It seems that all the rational thinking fell out of that bony skull of yours. Damn, Puka. Do you think waving some magic sword from Titania around makes you a hero? Watch your mouth. Kneel, fool. I am your king! You were never my king. Ugh. You fool. Intruding on us? This isn't over. You hear? Princess. Thank you. Thank you, Puka. Princess Velvet, I wanted to see you. Tis me, Cornelius. No, I can't. She can't love me when I'm like this. I can't tell her. Just close your mouth and endure the pain. But for how long? Oh, here you are. You jumped out of bed the instant you woke up. How do you feel? I think you should get more rest. The princess, how is she? Princess Velvet brought you back here. Where is she? She's not here right now. She was in a hurry to leave. <laughs> 